Hey, Manny, I like your background. Thank you, Mr. James. I'm inspired. <laughs> and a big congrats on Titanic celebrating its 25th anniversary. Time flies. I know. Talk to tell me about it. <laughs> oh my God. So, Mr. James, I like millions of people have my heart always going on and on and on for Titanic. It's a celebration of love. So I think it's quite fitting that it's being re-released during the month of love on Valentine's, right around Valentine's Day. Am I right in saying that? You're you're taking the words out of my mouth. You know, it's like, do do we want to remind people that it's this epic tragic disaster, or do we want to remind them that it's this epic romantic? story and of course it's it's the latter here's an interesting thing from the first release in 1997 we came out before christmas the highest single day of box office on the movie was valentine's day almost two months later so that i don't i mean records are always meant to be broken and there'll be other films that come along and break titanic records i don't think anybody's ever going to break that record you know, that, that the highest grossing day of a movie is two months into its wide release. And so obviously people then loved what the film meant around the, the, the romantic the romantic love, right? So that's why we decided to re-release it on Valentine's Day. What makes this re-release special, Mr. James? Well, it's a 25th anniversary. So, you know, I, I'm 25 years older. It's a generation later. We've got a new kind of generation of young fans coming up that have never had an opportunity to see the movie in a movie theater. Now it's available in 3D as well, which it wasn't originally. So it's more stunning, more beautiful, more engaging than it was back then. So I'm just excited about the fact that enough time has gone by to bring it out again. And also that people still care enough around the world that we you can know, bring a movie back. You know, Mr. Jim saw the film six times and the theater countless times at home. I wow. remember the day I remember the day when I first saw it in Indiana as I was yep. walking out of the theater. It's snowing. But how you old know. were you? How old were you? <laughs> oh my God. I'm getting personal. <laughs> I thought maybe you were like eight years old when you saw it the first no. time. <laughs> Thank you. What was your fondest memory of making Titanic? I have a lot of fond memories, mostly around the, uh, you know, around the cast, because Kate and Leo were so great. They were just so luminous in those characters. And if I had, I, can, I don't think I can point to a single instant. You know, I can. The kiss at the bow was one of the most satisfying moments for me as a filmmaker, because we kept waiting day after day after day for a great, for a great sunset. And we were running out of time. We were going to be done with our day exteriors. And on the, I think it was the last or the second last day of all of our day exteriors, we finally got this sunset and we raced around and we got them up there and they did it in two takes. The first take was completely out of focus. And we, so we really only had one take and they did such a beautiful job, you know, and it's one of those moments, when you're making a film that you just go, thank you to the gods of cinema for giving us a gift. Oh, and thank you, Mr. Jim, for giving us this movie. Oh, oh, a big congrats you. on Titanic okay. and your movie career again, Mr. James. A true tour with a great vision. Good luck on everything. Sir. All right. Thanks. Thank you so much. This was a lot of fun. <laughs> thank you so much.